Hi everyone, welcome to Bentech. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress CMS manually using cPanel. I'll go through five steps. Step number one is download the WordPress core files from the official website. Step number two is upload the WordPress files onto the server. Uh, step number three is create a new database. Uh, step number four is uh, create a new database user and uh, finally step number five is install wordpress cml in this tutorial i will use deletezero.com this is one of the very best web hosting out in the market and uh, they offer a very good plan so with a very cheap uh, prices as you can see they also have a limited deal uh, where you can pay only one dollar for a full year and you'll be able to get all these specs as you can see them so without further ado let's get started Let's go to uh, step number one. We're going to wordpress.org. This is official WordPress website. So what you do here is just go to get WordPress. Then you come to this and you download WordPress. The latest version is 6.1. And as you can see, it tells you to select the directory. You just say, okay. So a download will take less than a minute it depends on your internet so the download is complete i've saved the wordpress uh, files here on the desktop uh, step two is to upload the wordpress files onto the server so now i'm going to the cpanel so this is my cpanel now i'm going to log in after logging in you go to files uh, where you go to file manager and go to public html this is the root directory of all the web files for this case i'm going to install it on this uh, subdomain so when you open the public html uh, in case you already have other installations you actually focus on the domain that you want to install wordpress in so for this case i'm going to be installing on blog .bentex.com. so as you can see this is empty and when you look at this index you cannot see this um, a simple file uh, that's the same file as you can see from here so now we're going to upload those files right here so you're going to click upload click and drag your files right here so i'm just going to click and drag here you can also be able to select file and it redirects you to a location where the file is so this should take you less than a minute depending on your internet so it's complete until you're able to see from here that complete now you can go ahead and go back to your previous directory this is the wordpress files so what you do right click on it extract then you say extract files close this refresh this by reloading now you can see this is a unzipped file so what you do is open this double click then you select all come to move remove this location of wordpress leave only the main location as you can see this is the domain that i want to install the wordpress cms so it's block.bintex.com so i'm going to click move you can see this is empty now what you do go back we don't need this um, zip file anymore so what you do click on it and delete confirm we also don't need this empty uh, file here we have already extracted delete this as well so we have already finished step two which upload uh, the wordpress files onto the server now we go to step three create a new database so we're going back to cpanel go to databases there are two options you can be able to use to create your databases you can use my php admin or my sql you choose the one which is more easier for you for this tutorial i'm going to use my sql database here we're going to create a new database so it's advisable to use um something unpredictable uh, for this case i'm going to call it just an abbreviation so blg is enough so then you go ahead and say create we're going to save it on text file so db name is that as step four we need to create a database new user so you move down to my sql users so give a user name for your database so for this case also i'm going to call it blog 
and uh, for the case of the password I would encourage you to use this password generator uh, because it's not going to be very strong so you're going to click generate password and uh, you copy you actually copy this password and you use password so it has confirmed that very strong a hundred percent so what you do is go ahead and say create user also we are saving the password of the user db password and then we'll also copy this user because at the end of this at the at the last step we may need this all information so this is a db username so why it is showing bentex dash blog and bentex.blg because this is a subdomain so I go back now we have created a user so the next thing is we need to add a user into the database it if you don't do this step it may not be able to work so what you do you select the, the database that you want to add for example this one then the user we created we created a user called blog as you can see here we have a username as blog then we also have the db name as blg so for this case the database is blg and the user is blog so you go ahead and add so it brings you to this level you have to select the privileges that you want to add this user for the case of this you need to select check all and you only remove drop for security purposes so go ahead and make changes good you can see saved pentex dash blog privileges on the database now we're going to step number five which is the last step so as you see previously this is our domain before we uploaded the wordpress core files i'm going to copy it and put in a new browser then i go ahead so now you can see it detects that we have the wordpress core files in our directory so what you do now you go ahead and choose the language of your preference then you continue so i'm going to continue with english us so now we need this information the database name the username the password and the rest of that the, all this you may not need because you get them automatic with a wordpress so you go ahead and say let's go remember we saved them on on the text file so the db name is going to be bentex dash blog the username of the database our username is bentex dash blog and the, the password we also copied it here so you're going to copy it and you also put the password so you don't need to change the the database host and also the prefix table so go ahead and submit as you can see this is uh, successful it made it through this step so you go ahead and run the installation so this is what this information you need for signing into your website uh, give the site title that will be appearing on the search engines and also on top of your website for this case I'm going to call BT blog and the username is BT admin then the password I would encourage you to enter the password that you can be able to remember but should be strong for this case I'm going to call BT in a text file BT password it's BT that then the user also saw BT as you can see this is the, the username so once that is done you can put the email address that you want to use in case you forget and also you can decide to discard search engines in case you don't want it to be indexed so after that you're going to head to install yes success now you can see wordpress has been installed thank you and enjoy this is the username and the password that we chose you can see this is the password bt-blog at 23 let's try to log in so i've already saved my user details but in case you have not saved just come to this and copy this wp user information remember these three things here were for the blog were for the database and this is for you for your website the wordpress site so now i come to this then i go ahead and log in now you can see this is welcome to wordpress you can go ahead and clean up your site thank you very much in case you find challenges with this procedure i'm going to be showing you in the next tutorial how you can install wordpress using soft killers method so this is going to be very short and brief so thank you guys I wish you all the best.